Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So if you can tell by the title, today's video is all about just an update on my hair post combing them out all of my locks, which was really longer than a month ago, but it's been a month since I put the first video out. And so I wanted to just kind of touch on some things and update you guys on some things you saw in the beginning of this video that I actually just cut my ends and I actually didn't cut off as much as I probably could have. I probably cut off a good maybe three, four inches. Um, and I did it myself in the bathroom, honestly. Um, I was just inspired to do it today. It's something I've been really kind of holding off and putting off, just kind of waiting to see when my hair kind of would tell me that it was ready. And today was the day. And today also just happened to be the day that I was filming this video. So. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So, a month post lock come out. How is life after locks? How is my hair after having locks? Well, it's not too bad. <laughs> I will say that my hair is fairly dry because during the period of time where I had locks in my hair, I didn't really put much product on my hair at all aside from washing it. Um, whenever I felt like washing it and I would every now and then put oil on it but it became very very rare so my hair became pretty dry um, in that time frame and so after combing them out and kind of taking this period so it's been since I started combing them out in August I officially finished in September so it's been about a good month and a half of all of them being combed out and me you know every week kind of taking care and nourishing my hair um, so definitely a big difference from the day I finished combing them out until now. My hair is a lot less dry than it was when I first combed them out. Um, as far as tangles and things like that, my hair actually hasn't tried to lock back up in any sort of way, which was surprising for me. Um, because watching a lot of these kind of post-lock comb out videos, I noticed that, you know, a lot of people would say that they felt like their hair was trying to lock back up, but mine... I just feel like it was just really ready to become fully like just loose natural again because it has not tried to lock back up at all. Um, but then again, I don't wear my hair out all the time. I typically wear it braided up as I'm really in like a deep restorative kind of process with my hair. So protective styling is like my go-to, hence why my hair is like this. Also, you know, you just saw me trim my ends and today was wash day for me. so keeping my hair kind of just back in a bun and the braids is perfect for me right now. Um, so yeah, my hair dryness has definitely gotten a lot better. Um, I'm still figuring out products as far as what products I really like. I've been using consistently the same ones for about a month and a half. Um, and so I'm basically gonna continue to use those until I run out. And then once I run out, it's kind of like at that point is when I will decide, okay, well, did this product work well for me or not? And so for that reason, if you guys are wondering kind of like what my hair care routine is, I'm going to put that video off until a later date because I just want to make sure that first of all, I find products that work for me. Um, and this has nothing to do with you guys watching the video because obviously what works for me may not work for you as far as products, but stepwise, like the process, the routine, um, something I just want to get down pat and I just want to make sure that my hair is 100% happy. Plus, weather just totally did a flip on us. It went from like 80 degrees to 40 in a week. <laughs> and so my hair is adjusting to that. And so hair routine is kind of adjusting with the seasonal change as well. So there will be a hair routine, like a wash day routine coming your way soon. Um, but in the meantime, I am still trying to figure out my products. So no crazy tangles. My hair is not trying to walk back up. The dryness is definitely getting a lot better. Um, and then of course my ends was something that I had received as a question mainly from family members because when I they were the first people to see my hair really unlocked completely and one of the questions I was asked is if I was going to trim my ends um, because my cousin's actually a hairstylist and I was asking her a question and she was telling me I might have to trim like six inches and I was just kind of like <clears throat> you know because I'm like I just combed out all this hair <laughs> and it's down to like my my nipples basically and that might be TMI sorry um and I'm just like not ready to let go of the hair and you know she was just like at some point you're gonna have to cut it and so 
I wasn't ready, to be honest. I think after combing out so much hair and going through that whole emotional process, I wasn't yet ready to let go of more hair. Um, and I didn't know when I would be ready. And again, ironically, it just happened to be today when my hair was kind of like, all right, let's do the first cutting. And uh, so that's what I did today, just the first cutting, like a good two, no, I think it was like at least three to four inches, at least three, probably a good solid three inches um, off of each braid. Well, the back braids, the front braids probably got a good two inches. Um, and I can feel like at the ends of, of my braids, I can feel where I may need to cut more off because I can just feel the texture difference um, in my hair. And it's funny because a lot of that hair that I cut off is hair that I dyed when I had it in locks. So when I had my locks and they were really, really short, I had dyed it like a, a reddish, a reddish brown color. And so it's so funny because to see the amount of hair that I actually had when I started my locks, I didn't really have much hair. And I'm pretty much cutting off all of the dyed ends. And so again, probably come December um, is probably the next time I'll do my next round of like trimming off dead ends. Um, and just kind of really letting the hair go. But once I cut it all off, I thanked my hair for serving me. I thanked it for, you know, being the ends of my hair and keeping the rest of the strands protected. And I recognized that they, you know, let me know it's time to go. And I cut them off and I thanked them and wished them well. And I, you know, let them go. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking if there's any other questions that I had that I want to answer. I want to keep this video pretty short, but I did just want to, um, update you guys on my locks, my hair, <laughs> because it was a, it is a very big part of my life. Um, so yes, there was one last question and that question was one that I actually received on my YouTube video where I announced that I had combed out all my locks and that question was how did I actually comb them out? And so I don't actually have the footage anymore. I thought I saved it, but unfortunately, you know, I get trigger happy and I love to delete things. And so I deleted the footage, but I can quickly explain what I did. So I used good old Tresemme conditioner, which I'm still just using until I run out um, for conditioning purposes to help me kind of like detangle my hair in the shower. But this is really, really, really good if you're trying to comb out locks. This is all I used, plus, I'm gonna show you. All right, a mug of hot water, and then I would use this tiny, what do you call these combs? Whatever kind of combs you call these. I would take this and I would use this end, sorry, it's like in my face, but I would use this end to pick the lock out. Um, and I rarely ever use this end ever. It was mainly to just maybe comb out the, the ends if they were getting a little tangled during the process. This comb is one that I use pretty much like when I had unlocked maybe three or four locks and I was trying to, whoa, sorry. <laughs> and I was trying to just comb them out before I would braid them up into like one thick braid. So the whole routine lock by lock was get a hot cup of water from the sink, put some conditioner, squirt some conditioner, maybe three or four squirts in here. I would mix it with this spoon, spoon, <laughs> with this comb and so I'm getting used to having earrings y'all. Um, <laughs> I would soak the lock in the cup for as long as I could, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, just depending on how I felt that day. And then I would take it out. I would kind of, you know, squish a little bit of the water out and I would just begin to pick the lock. And then every, you know, I don't know, five, 10 minutes or so, if I ever felt that the lock was getting dry, I would just soak it back in the cup. And I would change out that water in the cup um, every one or two locks, just depending on how dirty the water was getting um, from the mix of conditioner and then from the lint that did come out of my hair because there was some a fair amount of lint that came out of my hair. Um, and then also towards the roots, I had dandruff that was in my hair from when my scalp was going nuts on me. Problem that is now completely solved, thank God. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I combed out each and every lock. The first lock took the longest. Um, but after that, I got it down to a point where some locks would take 10 minutes, some would take 20, some would take 30. It really just depended on how thick the lock was, how long the actual hairs were, because, you know, keep in mind your locks shrink up. And so I had to take that into account, um, how thick the lock was, and then how many times I may have interlocks. Because if you didn't know, when I first started out on my journey, I did interlock quite a bit. 
Um, I would interlock maybe every month to two months um, because I just found that my hair did not want to stay in the locks. And so it is possible to comb out locks when you've done interlocking as a way of retwisting your hair. Um, it just took me a little bit longer. So for other people who don't interlock at all, it may take them half the time to cut out a, cut out a lock, comb out a lock. It'll definitely take you zero time to co cut out a lock. But <laughs> anyways, so I hope that that answers your question. I'm sorry again that I lost the footage, deleted the footage of that. Um, but that's pretty much it. This is where my hair is now. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, at this point, I don't miss my locks at all. It, I recognize it as a time that was necessary for me and that that is no longer my timing right now. Um, and so I'm totally okay with not having locks. It is a bit more work when I wash my hair to have to detangle and all of that, but it's well worth it for me. I enjoy the process. Um, and honestly, most of the time my hair is in braids. Um, they're either two French braids to the back of my head or they're in, you know, like maybe four to six braids pushed back in a bun. And then on the weekends, like when I go out um, shopping and hanging out with my husband and stuff, you know, that's typically a time when I undo them. And then for videos, I typically will undo the braids. But then after that, they get braided back up. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think that's everything. Um... Oh, a couple more things I want to mention. I did have a lot of breakage from my locks, especially in the front. Um, and so like my edges are still kind of like short. A lot of my hairs are short on my edges. Um, and towards the middle as well. Like I get a lot of frizz up here and it's literally just because the hairs are like this long versus the rest of this, my head being like way longer. And that's because a lot of those hairs just ended up breaking off um, from, I'm not 100% sure, I think it's a combination of my locks being as thick as they were and maybe it was just heavy on my um, actual strands that were there. And it could have been a combination of that and the diet that I was eating because again I mentioned in that last video of why I'm no longer vegan that I started feeling very weak. Um, things like my nails started getting really brittle, um, could no longer see the moons on my fingernails. Um, ridges in my fingernails so it wouldn't surprise me if my hair was being affected as well so that is officially all that I have to say I do hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions uh, that I haven't touched on or that you'd like more details on definitely leave them below if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me because it definitely helps other people see my video and it lets me know I'm doing a good job because your girl is working. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I've consistently put out a video every week for like four or five weeks now. I'm, I'm fucking proud of myself. I'm going to admit that. Um, consistency is key for me, and that's what I'm challenging myself to do for a very long time, is to just be consistent with you guys and putting out new videos every week. So, yeah, and subscribe, because clearly I'm putting out videos every week. I'm consistent now. So, um... Yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a new video coming out next week. Like this video if you love it or like it. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you just have any questions that you want featured in a Q&A video, hashtag them AskSA, and I will definitely feature them in the next Q&A video. Otherwise, I'll just answer it right in the comments for you. And let me know your thoughts on hair. I mean, have you unlocked your hair? Have you combed out your locks? Have you... Cut out your locks. Do you have locks? Do you love your locks? Do you wish you had locks? Do you love your natural hair? Do you have relaxed hair? Like what state is your hair in now and kind of where do you want to see it go from here? Let's talk about hair in the comments because I love my hair and I think hair is a pretty, pretty interesting topic to talk about. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.